Welcome back to Sissy Maya. Here, we embrace true femininity. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an update. It was a warm spring evening, the sky painted with delicate hues of pink and orange. A gentle breeze rustled through the leaves of the trees, carrying with it the sweet scent of blooming flowers. In this peaceful setting, Sarah sat anxiously in her car, her heart racing with anticipation and fear. She adjusted her hair nervously, making sure her makeup was still flawless, and took one last deep breath before stepping out of the vehicle. Her date was already waiting for her at the pre-arranged meeting spot, but Sarah couldn't help but feel like she was in over her head. You see, Sarah was not who she said she was on the dating app. She was actually James, a college student who had always been fascinated by the idea of cross-dressing. Against his better judgment, he had signed up for the app using Sarah's photo and persona. He had hoped to meet someone who would accept him for who he was, but so far, all he had found were people like Jason, who were nothing but judgmental and cruel. This was his last chance, though. He had carefully selected his profile picture and written his bio, hoping to finally find someone who would give him a chance. When James saw the figure of his date approaching, he couldn't help but feel a mix of nervousness and excitement. The girl he had seen in the photos was even more beautiful in person, her long blonde hair flowing in the breeze, her delicate features framed by a pair of stylish glasses. She was wearing a cute little dress that hugged her curves perfectly, and a pair of white sneakers that James thought were absolutely adorable. As she drew closer, he could smell the sweet fragrance of her perfume, and his heart began to race. Hi, you must be James, she asked, her voice soft and feminine. He nodded, unable to speak, and offered her his hand. She smiled warmly and took it, her skin soft against his. I'm Amelia. It's nice to finally meet you. Her hand felt small and delicate in his, and he couldn't help but wonder what it would feel like to hold her hand like a gentleman should. The conversation flowed easily between them as they walked towards the small cafe they had agreed upon. James felt more relaxed than he had ever imagined he would be on a date, and Amelia seemed to be enjoying herself too. She laughed at his jokes and seemed genuinely interested in everything he had to say. As they sat down at a table, James couldn't shake the feeling that maybe this date wouldn't be so bad after all. Maybe, just maybe, he had finally found someone who could accept him for who he was. Over dinner, they talked about everything from their favorite movies and music to their families and dreams for the future. Amelia seemed to be completely unfazed by the fact that James was wearing women's clothes, and that in itself was enough to make him feel incredibly relieved and grateful. As they finished their meals, James couldn't help but notice the way Amelia kept glancing at him shyly, her cheeks ever so slightly flushed. He wondered if she was thinking about the same thing he was, whether or not they could leave the cafe together and maybe go for a walk under the stars. Deciding that it was now or never, James mustered up the courage to ask her if she wanted to take a stroll after dinner. She smiled sweetly and nodded, her eyes never leaving his face. As they stepped out of the cafe and into the warm summer night, James felt a sense of euphoria wash over him. The stars were twinkling brightly above them, and the air was thick with the scent of flowers. Amelia leaned into him slightly as they walked, her arm brushing against his, sending shivers down his spine. He couldn't believe how lucky he felt in that moment. The rest of the night passed in a blur of conversation and laughter. They walked hand in hand, exploring the quiet streets of the small town they lived in. Despite the fact that they had only just met, James found himself opening up to Amelia in a way that he hadn't with anyone else before. He told her about his struggles with his identity, his fears of being discovered, and his hope that one day he could truly be himself without having to hide behind a false persona. As the night drew to a close, they found themselves standing outside of James' car. The silence between them was palpable, and James could feel his heart racing once more. 
He wanted nothing more than for this moment to last forever, but he knew that soon he would have to reveal the truth about who he really was. With a deep breath, he mustered up the courage to take Amelia's hand in his and looked her in the eye. There's something I need to tell you, he said softly. Something I've been meaning to say all night. Amelia tilted her head curiously, her expression a mixture of anticipation and worry. Okay, she said quietly. What is it? James took a deep breath and let it out slowly. I'm transgender, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. There was a long silence as the words hung in the air between them. Amelia's eyes widened in understanding, and she took a step back, her hand falling to her side. I, I don't know what to say, she stammered. I mean, I'm sorry if this is a surprise or if I've done something wrong. I just... I really enjoyed our date. James felt a pang of disappointment in his chest, but he tried to keep his expression steady. It's okay, he said, trying to sound more confident than he felt. I understand if this changes things between us. I just wanted you to know the truth. Amelia took a deep breath and then stepped forward, taking James' hand in hers once more. No, she said firmly. It doesn't change anything. I mean, I knew you were different from other guys, but that just made you more interesting to me. And as for being transgender, well, that doesn't change who you are as a person. You're still James, and I really like James. James couldn't believe what he was hearing. He felt a weight lift off his shoulders, and a wave of relief and happiness wash over him. Really? he asked, his voice barely above a whisper. You mean that? Amelia smiled warmly and squeezed his hand. Of course I do. I don't care what's between your legs or what clothes you wear. You're still the same person I met tonight, and I think you're amazing just the way you are. With that, they leaned in and shared a tender kiss. As their lips met, James felt a sense of peace and acceptance wash over him. For the first time in his life, he truly believed that he could be happy, and that there might be someone out there who could love him for who he truly was.